Good morning everyone. I am K Kavita, Assistant Professor of Computer Science, ADM College for Women, Nakapatina. Now see the topic is software coding. What is mean by software coding? The coding is the process of transforming the design of a system into computer language format. The coding phase of software development is concerned with the software translating design specification into source code. It is necessary to write source code and internal documentation that confirmation of the code to its specification can be easily verified. Coding is done by coder or programmer who are independent people than the designer. The goal is not to reduce the effort and cost of coding phase but to cut to the cost of a later stage. The cost of testing and maintenance can be significantly reduced with efficient coding. What are the goals in coding? There are two goals to translate the design of system into computer language forward. Second one is to reduce the cost of later phase making the program more readable. First one they translate the design of system into a computer language forward. This is nothing but the process of transforming the design of a system into computer language format which can be executed by a computer and that perform task are specified by the design of operation during the design phase. How to reduce the cost of later phases? The cost of testing and maintenance can be significantly reduced with efficient coding. Making the program more readable. It should be easy to read and understand. It increases the code understanding having readability and understandability as a clear objective of the coding. Activity can itself help in producing more maintainable software. Software measurement metrics. It is nothing but standard of measure that contains many activities which involve some degree of measurement. It can be classified into three categories, product met matrices, process matrices and project metrics. First one, product metric, which is described the characteristic of the product that is size, complexity, design features, performance and quality level. Process metrics, that means it can be used to improve software development and maintenance. Examples of this, it include the effectiveness of defect removal during the development, the burden of testing, defect arrival and the response time of the fixed process. Project metrics which describe the project characteristics and execution. The example include the number of software developers, this saffron pattern over the life cycle of the software, cost, schedule and productivity. Some merits belong here, multiple character, categories. For example, the in-process quality metrics of a project or both process metrics and project metrics. Scope of software metrics. Software metrics contain many activities which include the following. Cost and effort estimation, productivity measures and model, data collection, quantity models and measures, Reliability models, performance and evaluation models, structural and complexity matrices, capability maturity assessment, management by metric, evaluation of methods and tools. It deserves collection of these activities that range from models predicting software project costs at a specific stage of measure of program structure, cost and effort estimation. Effort that means it is expressed as a function of one or more variables such as the size of the program, developers and level of use. Cost and effort estimation models have been proposed to predict the project cost during yearly phases in the software life cycle. What are the different models proposed in software testing? Bowman's Kokobo model, Putnam Slim model, Average function point model, productivity model and measures, 
Productivity can be considered as a function of the value and cost. Each can be composed into different measurable size, functionality, time and money etc. Different possible components of a productivity model can be expressed in the following diagram. Productivity, value and cost. Value means quality and quantity. Quality means reliability and defects. Quantity, size and functionality. What are the cost? Personal, resource and complexity. Personal, time and money. Resources, hardware and software. Complexity, environmental constraints and problem difficulty. Data collection. Data collection means it is a any measurement program is clearly dependent on careful data collection. It can be distilled into a simple chart and graphs so that the managers can understand the process and problem of the development. Data collection is also essential for scientific investigation of relationship and trends. Quality model and measures. Quality models have been developed for the measurement of quality of the product without which productivity is meaningless. These quality models can be combined with productivity model for measuring the correct productivity. These models are usually constructed in their tree-like fashion. The upper branches hold important high level quality factors such as reliability and usability. The notation of divided and conquer approach has been implemented as a standard approach of measuring software quality. Reliability models. Most quality models include reliability as a component factor. However, the need of predict and measures reliability has led to a separate specification in reliability modeling and prediction. The basic problem in reliability is to predict when the system is eventually failed. Performance evaluation and models. It includes externally observable system performance characteristics such as time, re time response and completion rates and the internal working of the system such as efficiency of algorithm. It is another aspect of quality. Structural and complexity matrices. Here we measure the structural attributes of representation of the software which are available in advance of execution. Then we try to establish empirically predictive theories to support quality assurance, quality control and quality prediction. Capability maturity assessment. This model can be easily assessed many different attributes of development including the use of tools, practices and more. It is based on the key practice that every good conductor should be using. Management by metrics. For managing software project, measurement has a vital role for checking whether the project is on track, users and developers can rely on the measurement based chart and graph. The standard set of measurements and reporting methods are especially Important when the software is embedded in a product where the customers are not usually well versed in software terminology. Software testing. What is this software testing? It is nothing but it is a method to check whether the actual software product matches expected requirements and to ensure that the software product is defect free. It involves execution of software or system Component using manual or automated tools to evaluate one or more properties of interest. The purpose of software testing is to identify errors, gaps or missing requirements in contrast to actual requirements. Some preferably saying software testing, that is white box testing and black box testing. In simple terms, software testing means the verification, application and the test that means AUT. What are the benefits of software testing? Here the benefits of using software testing is cost effective, security and estimation. Cost effective. It is one of the important advantage of software testing. 
testing any IT project on time help you to save your money for your long term. In case if the bugs caught in the early stage of software, it costs less to fix. Security, it is the most vulnerable and sensitive benefit of software testing. People are looking for trusted products. It helps in remo removing help and problem earlier. Product quality, it is an essential requirement of any software product. Testing ensures a quality product is delivered to customer. The last one is customer satisfaction. The main aim of any product is to give satisfaction to the customers. UA or UX testing ensure the best user experience. What are the types of software testing? Unit testing, integration testing, system testing, functional testing, acceptance testing, smoke testing, regression testing, <coughs> performance testing, security testing, user acceptance testing. Testing is nothing but the process of executing a program to find errors. To make our software perform when it should be error free. If testing is done successfully, it will remove all the error from the software. What are the principles of testing? There are six principles. First of all, all the tests should be meet the customer requirements. To make our software testing should be performed by a third party. Executive testing is not possible as we need optimal amount of testing based on the risk assessment of the application. All the tests to be conducted should be planned before implementing it. It follows the Patro rule that means 80 bar 20 rules which states that 80% of errors come from 20% of program components. Start testing with small parts and Extend it to a large part. First one unit testing. Unit testing is the method of testing individual units or components of a software application. It is typically done by developers and it is used to ensure that the individual unit of software are working as intended. They are usually automated and designed to test specific parts of the code such as particular function or method. It is done at the lowest level of the software development process where units of code are tested in isolation. The main advantage of unit testing is it helps to identify er error in the development process yearly before they become more difficult and expensive to fix. It helps to ensure that changes to the code don't introduce new bugs. It makes the code more Modular and easier to understand and maintain. Helps to improve the overall quality and reliability of the software. Second one, integration testing. It is a method of testing how different units or components of your software application interact with each other. It is used to identify and resolve any issues that may arise when different units of the software are combined. Integration testing is typically done after unit testing and before functional testing which is used to verify that the different units of the software work to the as intended. There are many performed ways to integration testing. Top down integration testing, bottom up integration testing, big bang integration testing and last one incremental integration testing. Top down integration testing. It start with the high level models and different them with the lower level models. Bottom up integration testing is start with the lowest level models and integrate them with higher level models. Big bang integration testing it combines all the models and integrates them at all once. Increment testing it integrates the models in small groups testing each group as it added. Main advantage of integration testing is to identify and resolve issues may arise when different units of the software are combined. <coughs> it helps ensure that the different units of software work together as intended. It helps to improve the overall reliability and stability of the software. It is important to keep in mind uh, that integration testing is essential for complex system where different components are 
integrated together. As with unit test, integration testing only one aspect of software testing that is it should be used to combine with other types of testing such as unit testing, functional acceptance to ensure that the software meets the needs of its users. Black box testing is technique of testing in which tester does, doesn't have access to the source code of the software and is conducted at the software interface without any concern with the internal logical structure of the software known as black box testing. White box testing. This technique of testing in which the tester is aware of the internal working of the product, has access to its source code and is conducted by making sure that all internal operations are performed according to the specification known as white box testing. What are the difference between black box testing and white box testing? Black box testing is the internal working of an application or not required. But white box testing, knowledge of the internal working is must. Black box testing also known as closed box or data driven testing. But white box testing also known as cleared box and structural testing. Black box testing, end user tester are developers. White box testing are normally done by tester and developers. Black box testing can be only done by a trial and error method. But white box testing is data domains and internal boundaries can be better tested. Third one, regression testing. It is a method of testing that is used to ensure that the change match the software don't introduce a new bugs or cause existing functionality to break. It is typically done after changes have been made to the code such as bug fixes or new features which is used to verify the software still work as intended. It can be performed in different ways. Retesting, re-execution, comparison. Retesting. This involves testing the entire application or specific function that was affected by the changes. Re-execution. This involves running a previously executed test should to ensure that the changes did not break any existing functionality. Comparison. This involves comparing the current version of the software with the previous version of a to ensure that the change in did not break any existing functionality. Main advantage of regression testing is to help ensure that changes made to the software don't introduce new bugs or cause existing functionality or to break. It helps to ensure that the software continues to work as intended after changes have been made. It helps to improve the overall reliability and stability of the software. It's important to keep in mind that regression testing is ongoing. Process should be done throughout the software development life cycle to ensure that the software content to work as intended. It should be automated such as possible to save time and resources. Additionally, it is to important to have a well defined regression test should the covers. Fourth one, smoke testing. This test is done by to make sure that the software under the testing is ready or stable for the further testing. It is called a smoke test as the testing of an initial pass is done to if it is not catch the fire or smoke in the initial switch on. <coughs> Fifth and alpha testing. This type of testing is a validation testing. It is a type of acceptance testing which is done before the product is released to the customer. It is typically done by a few a people. Beta testing. The beta testing is conducted at one or more customer site by the end of the software. This version is released for a limited number of users for testing in a real time environment. System testing. It is carried out on the whole system in the context of either system requirement specification or functional requirement specification or the context of the board. Software testing is a such that, such that it works fine for the different operating system. It's covered under the black box testing techniques. 
in this just focus on the requirements input and output without focusing on the internal working in this security testing recovery testing stress testing and performance testing stress testing stress testing means unfavorable condition of the system and check how they perform in those conditions performance testing it is designed to test the run time performance of the software within the context of an integrated system it is used to test the speed and effectiveness of the program it is also called the load testing in it we check what is the performance of the system in the given load object oriented testing this testing is a combination of various tes testing techniques that help to verify and varied the object oriented software it is done by the following manner first one testing of requirements design and analysis testing testing of code integration testing system testing and unit testing user testing acceptance testing acceptance testing is done by the customer to check whether the delivered product perform the desired task or not as stated and requirements what are the advantage and disadvantage of software testing first one advantage it improves software quality and reliability early identification fixing of defects improved customer satisfaction it increases stockholders confidence it reduces maintenance and cost disadvantage of software testing means it time consuming and adds to project cost it can slow down development process it no it is not all defects can be found it can be difficult to fully test a complex system potentially for human error during the testing process software maintenance software maintenance is widely aspect part of the sdlc that is software development life cycle nowadays its standards are the modification and updation done after the delivery of software product there are number of reasons why modifications are required some of them are debris below market condition that is policies which change over the time such as taxation and newly introduced constraints like how to maintain bookkeeping and may trigger need to modification the requirements over that time customer may ask for a new features or functions in the software post modification if any one of the hardware or software platform of the target host changes software changes are need to keep adaptability organization change if there is any business level change at a client need such as reduction of organization strength acquiring another company and organization venturing into a new business need to modify in the organizational original software may arise thank you